have a look at this. I have a website in English. I click here on the language switcher. I have a few other languages and it switches. Of course, you've seen this before. This is what multilingual websites are all about. But I did this. I signed up. I got it done. All of the translations of those four languages in under a minute. So I'm blown away. Hi, my name is JP here at Websites for Beginners, where we bring you beginners into the fold of how you can create websites for yourself. And you may be in the situation where you've created a website, you want to make it bilingual or multilingual. How can you do it? There are many tools. We have a few videos here on the channel for that. But this is Linguise. I believe that's how you pronounce it. And I just did a test on it and I just thought it blew me away at the speed and the convenience to translate your website with automatic translation. This is a premium service, but your first month is free and you get 600,000 words for free during that period. So if you have a mega big website or even a small one and you want to translate it, grab that free trial and you know do the translation and get those words out there. Let me show you how easy it is. So I'm going to close this website. I have a very similar one <laughs> similar that we're going to do. And I'll just jump over into Edge because I want to create a new one for you. So here you go. Follow the link in the description below. One month free trial. This is where you start. Register and translate now. And you quickly go through this little setup form, which is the easiest thing on earth. Submit. And it will give you the option to immediately create your first translation. So we go for step one out of two. I'll jump back into Chrome and I'll just grab this URL for this website, paste it over here. And then this is the account, which is me. And we select the language the site currently is in. And we'll put it on English. Then the languages that we are translating it into. I'll click here on the X at the very bottom so we have a clean slate. And then I'll start with Afrikaans because it's my mother tongue. So I can actually know whether the translation is good or not. The rest I'm just going to add and you'll be the judge whether they are good or not. So let's add French there. Um, let's add something like Korean. We can even add Khmer. Let's go for Korean. And then one more. Let's, let's scroll to the bottom and see what we have here. Turkish. Great. And these are our languages. Translate URLs. Yes, you can leave everything as is. Then we go to the next step. From here, you have a WordPress plugin that you get from the WordPress repository. So I'm jumping back to the back of WordPress. And then we go to plugins. Scroll down to plugins. We can just select add new from the beginning. Then we search Linguis. Install now. And you can really give these guys some love. Only 400 plus in WordPress. Pretty good job what they are doing. I think they deserve a few thumbs ups there. So if you use them, go and leave a good review so they can get a little bit more love. Activate and hop back into our account. We grab our API key here. In the navigation sidebar on the left here in the bottom, you will see Linguis. And all you need to do to get it going is there in the top where it says Linguis API key. You just paste that one that I've just copied and you click on apply. You're even going to be confused like where do I hit the button to start the translation? Apparently it just happens miraculously somewhere in the back. You have a few options here which you can go through and test out yourself how you want it to display. One of the things you probably want to do is add a language switcher to your header. So let's go and do that while we hope that the translation is happening in the back. And we can just go here to Linguist and see if there's any other button we have to press. Seems no. And you see the Linguist switcher already here. I've got multiple menus, so I'm going to select my main menu to make sure that's where it will appear. And then I select the Linguist languages add to menu and not much that you do within this. You can see there aren't options. You can change the navigation label if you wanted to. But all those settings of how it works and how it looks, that's done within the settings of Linguis. Save menu. Fabulous. Let's go to the front and look if we also have a fabulous outcome. There is the language switcher already, but also note you have a language toggle selector here in the bottom right corner that gives you the same menu when it pops up there. Right, now comes the test and I'll go and click on Afrikaans first because at least I will have an idea of whether it did a good job or not. And I have to tell you, I am blown away with the automatic translations that we have nowadays. 
and I'll show you how you can go back into Linguis and make manual adjustments because not every language is going to be that great like they've done a very good job with Afrikaans. I will give them 95% of the automatic translation. It's going to the languages I'm very unfamiliar with, Korean. And that looks like Korean to me, right? So if you're a Korean speaking person who can also write it, have a look. I'm pretty sure you need to also go make those manual adjustments. And we can have one last look here at Turkish. And I think spelling has changed. Need to update that. Let's jump back to Afrikaans because I want to go now into the Linguish dashboard and show you how you make those manual translations for those translations that doesn't suit what you really want to say. I will go here to the top where you see Ur. And that is about, I want to change it to something else. There are two ways you can do it in Linguish. The one I really like. What you do when you arrive in your dashboard, you will see here at home, you can select the site that you've translated, but at the top, you also have a drop down menu. And if you have many sites there, you select them from there. So use the drop down menu, takes you to your dashboard. This just gives you an idea, translated 2000 words, because that's a pretty big website. And then you have some stats here. You can even track page views on those stats. From here, you go to the translations and you can select translations and then you have them all down here. I'll filter it by language. I'll put it on Afrikaans. And there are so, so many, as you can see, string translations, excellent job. And one of the reasons I chose this website is this one is loaded with widgets, you whatnot. So if it can handle all of that, really good job. What you then do, let's say I choose any word here, like email, and then it says earpost. You can select here on the little edit and change here, earpost address, and then save it. But if you are not clear where this word is appearing on your site and you would like to actually see it so you know that you're doing the right manual translation, what you can do is click here on live editor and then select Open Life Editor. It's gonna load your page here and then choose the language, which in this case is Afrikaans. So what happened, it opened this page. It didn't give me the live editor, but the moment I went to the language switcher and I put it on Afrikaans, it gave me the editor. So that is a little bit hick. I didn't experience it previously. You see the linguist up here in the top right corner, select that, and it is in edition mode, which is editor mode. Go here to Ur. This is the one that I want to translate. Simply click on it. And that's it. There you have this. And I will type in here, Mir Ur Ons. And then save that. And that's it. Really, that's it. That's how you can do it. Take all the control. Beautiful. You have your navigation mode in case you want to scroll around and there are links that you want to click and go back. And then you even have the edit for the metas included. Once you are done, you simply close it. There's no other way. You just simply close it. There's no exit button here. Wow, great product. There are a number of these products on the market at the moment. You have to look at your budget. You have to look at ease of use and, of course, your needs. They make it very clear. Translate 600,000 words during one month for free. You'll have to bring your friends and family to get that many words, right? And then translate all your website in one language during one in any language during one month it's risk free it is truly risk free and you'll subscribe after seeing that it works you like it you buy it okay that's it i i really i took a longer time here because i was babbling on and uh, you know but this really took me from registration installing the plugin and getting the basic automatic translation done one minute in my mind, it was one minute. From me, JB, go well. I'll see you in the next video.